welcome dear children once again this is, we will continue with our chapter 6 formatting a document uh, yesterday we have done with the initial we have started with the chapter 6 that is formatting a document right uh, there we have seen how to change the font type how to apply border italic oh, sorry bold italic and underline right and even we have seen how to do text alignment and font color okay just a small revision for it okay this is whenever i uh, open document by default the font type is always a calibri even you can change the size of your text right now um, i don't want to change so i will press ctrl z so uh, this is your font uh, type and font style right in the home tab font group is there in this bold italic and underline we have seen underline also you have different uh, style of underline okay let us see here uh, underline so let us see this underline i would like even you can color that underline like this okay just now it seems like it's a spelling mistake so i'm not going to put it this underline okay so this is the way you do underline uh something uh, some uh, i have said yesterday that i even i would like to discuss with you the know the facts and let's know more so first of let us start with page number 47 on that uh, the first uh, let's know more is on selecting text a small pop-up window having the basic formatting command bullets appears right when i click on this if you remember yesterday's video i have shown you this is a small pop-up window right so in let's know more first let's know more it's showing this is a pop-up window fine then second let's know more it's uh, regarding the font size so it is saying that to change the size of a font click on font size drop down list in the font group and select any font size okay it's regarding this one this is when you see this small arrow this is called drop down list fine when i click this this is called drop down drop down list i would decrease the font style uh, size sorry fine even if you just when you select the word you will get this formation over here also so from here also you can change it it's uh, already 48 so i'll just decrease it to 36 fine right so this is a drop down list okay the next one is to highlight text select it then click on the text highlight and select any color i'm reading know the fact on page number 47 third box okay i'm going to do the highlighter i'm going to use this highlighter okay in the textbook madam says this is a very important word you highlight this so this is the highlighter i'm going to do ctrl z here it is available this is called highlighting a text fine ctrl z okay <coughs> now spelling and grammar check we have already done in chapter 5 right so if you would like to see i'll just let you know f7 from your function key hmm? it will allow you to do spelling and grammar check even i can do right click i just forgot to write t red color line is there do right click and select the correct word or you can press f7 right so this is a spelling and grammar check okay so page number 47 we have discussed let's know more and uh, know the fact okay so in let's know more we have seen this is a pop-up window small pop-up window then we have already seen we have also seen how to change the font size from here in even small pop-up window opens from here also you can change right and then we have seen how to color the font or highlight sorry how to highlight it this is how to change the color of a font if you want a particular font uh, if you want a particular word to be changed then it, you need to select that word and then click on the desired color you want okay so this was all then uh, yesterday we have also seen the margins uh, sorry not margins but alignment 
it is in the paragraph group right side center left alignment okay by default whenever you start typing it is always a left alignment i'll put it in the center fine so uh, this was the alignment and how to change the color i just shown you just now right so this we have seen in the yesterday's video now today we will discuss with the page number 49 okay changing the line spacing now you can see here uh, let us see in the paragraph that i have done for you all okay yesterday i had made only three lines here now today i have included more it is one of the paragraph which is given in your book in the figure 6.4 okay so i have just used the same paragraph now i am going to do line spacing now line spacing means it's a vertical distance between the two words okay so see this this much area between the the space between these two words is uh, regarding the line spacing the vertical distance between two lines successive lines means one after another okay the vertical distance between the two successive line it's called a line spacing so how to do that okay now in the home tab okay there is a paragraph group this is a paragraph group and you can see this is called a dialog box launcher okay paragraph dialog box launcher so when you click on this it will show you the different line spacing options here fine you want a single line spacing 1.5 line spacing exactly how much you need fine and even you can increase and decrease the font from here I did zero point five. See, you can see the line spacing is done to zero point five. Even you can go and you can increase here. You can do one point five. So this way you can change the line spacing between the um, lines. Okay. So if you want to decrease, this is looking nice, right? So. line spacing is nothing but the vertical distance between the two successive lines okay computer is greatest and then again successive line is invention on the earth especially for children so this is two successive lines and between that whatever space is there that is called a line spacing so vertical distance between the two successive line is called line spacing then we know the concept of redo and undo i am doing the let's know more okay on page number 49 the redo button uh, on quick access toolbar can also be used to as a repeat typing tool to rewrite the previous typed word as we have done in the last video i have shown you how to do undo and redo right this is your quick access toolbar here you have options of undo and redo right okay fine now comes the Uh, concept of bullets and numbering okay so we will see the one of the example hmm? like uh, listing uh, the um, particular let's say form 4 okay now i am going to we will start with 4a right so now i want to make a list of students which are there in form 4 fine so let us do that hmm? now what i'll do i'll do right here one and then i'll type right so what i'll do first form 4 sorry my cursor is not there and i'm typing form 4 a okay now here i'll do the green color means some grammatical error is there so I'll, let me remove this so it will go okay never mind now i will do here bullets and numberings okay now bullets means a small graphic symbol okay you can use any of this you like you can even use your own you can download from internet the picture you like as a bullet fine so this is uh, different bullets which are available if you don't want you can click on none but if you want any of this bullet you can select it 
instead of this bullet if you want a number right even here also you have so many different option like one dot right here it is one and round bracket one uh, roman numbers capital abcd small abc uh, abc with a round bracket then a dot right and small roman numbers so any of these bullets if you would like you can select right so this is your uh, bullets and numbering right so let us make a list of it when i am going to make a list regarding it right so let me see okay uh, from 4a i'll just i'll whatever i get in my mind i'll just write okay meera okay so one name is there meera okay now when i press enter automatically two will come but now i don't want to here i want to write here without getting a number down okay see shift and enter key you will press then you can write here rana okay so if i press now enter then two will come so shift and enter if you want to just write after any bullet or number if you want to just write after that if you press enter the number will come but you don't want number you want to type something there shift enter okay use the key shortcut key shift plus enter key you have to press it together i re <coughs> excuse me i repeat again <coughs> now see i want to type her surname surname down so what i have to do go to do i have to press the enter key to go to the next line right so i am pressing enter key but it is coming here too so this is not correct right so what i will do i will press shift and enter see my cursor has come i will write rana now again i will press enter then two has come so this is the way how i will type right so this is my bullets and numbering so uh, whenever you want to make a list or anything you can select your bullets and numbering even there are some bullets which you want as a sub topic okay number 1 1 okay if you want a, a sub topic inside it you can select it right so this is a way you can even change the bullets and numbering from here if you don't want any select on none it will be removed fine so this is your bullets and numbering even i have shown you the know the facts bullets and numbering how to do uh, quick view shift enter how the shift and enter is done okay now let us see the page number 50 uh, applying border and shading okay now suppose this is my paragraph this is my paragraph right i want to give a border to it so here you have got in the paragraph uh, group okay here you got one border here right here from here you can increase the uh, there is an option border and shading you can click on this you can decrease the thickness of the border even the style you can change okay like this way you can change if you want for a text see here it is done to the paragraph if you want it for the text each text will have the border and shading so where you go paragraph group here border and shading option is there if you don't want you just click here it will be removed or there is an option called none you select it all the border and shading will go here also i have to select for text right here i have to select none for them so it has gone so this way it is just for text but if you want it for your page right border and shading go to page here you got so many different styles for borders okay christmas is coming let us do the star bordering right uh, even the thickness here also the way you do hmm? ok 
okay so this is the way you apply it will apply to the, all the pages all the pages that are there in your document it will be applied to them so this is the way to apply border to the page how you will do you will go in the paragraph group option border and shading and from here border and shading if you do want to do for your page then click on page border if you want to do for your paragraph then select any border that you like okay and it will come to your paragraph where in whichever in whichever paragraph the cursor is that that paragraph border will come okay so this way you can give border and shading then comes a drop cap okay now drop cap is like particularly if you are if you have seen or noticed your uh, story book uh, some story books see once upon a time o is written with very big letters right so same way if you want the effect like i want to write this computer with a big letter hmm. so where i'll go uh, in order to give a graceful look to your document apply drop cap effect to the first letter of your paragraph select the letter click on insert tab and select drop cap button in the text group define the parameters in drop cap option if necessary click button okay and observe the change okay insert tab we got here drop cap okay let us do you can see here so this is the effect of drop cap i'll do control z again i repeat insert tab text group in text group you have option drop cap if i click on dropped see the first letter will come this way right so this way you can complete your um if you want to do any uh, effect in your paragraph like this so you can use your drop cap option so this was your all for your um, uh chapter 6 so i just repeat once again that uh, we have learned till now okay from your chapter uh, first thing that we have learned was changing the font type now font type again have to click on home tab by default it is always calibri body calibri and this is font type and from here you can do font size home tab font group bold italic underline if you want to a particular this many lines only you want bold you have to select bold italic underline in underline i have selected this style so if i have if i want this way if i want the straight forward if you want double lining you can select it okay more underlines are there you can see the option right then you have um highlighting a text okay whichever text you have selected you are highlighting that text see right so then you have coloring the text if you want to change the color okay i will change it to this one then in the paragraph group we have seen the alignment left center right justify right i will just use the left alignment by default it's left then it's bullets and numbering if you want to give the bullets bullets is nothing but a small graphic image and numbers it's like if you want to give it as a roman number none or you want to do capital a b c d small a b c d or you want to want a small roman number or a capital roman number you can use it right so this way you can use the numberings uh, this we have seen bullets uh, and numberings alignment we have seen then we have seen the line spacing line spacing is nothing but the vertical distance between the two line right so this is the way how you can change the line spacing okay then you can give page border if you want to change the border to the paragraph right you can select the way you want see i have selected to the text so it has come to the text okay here it is a uh, to the paragraph then you want to change border to the page border none then it will be removed see here still if you want 
you have to select page border hmm? here are the style you can increase the decrease <coughs> like this muffins <coughs> so this way you can give page border in bullets and numbering we have also seen the concept of shift and enter right uh, highlighting the text we have seen so this was the different different option that we have seen in the and we have also seen the drop cap option hmm? i want this chapter in the paragraph i want here c capital i just remove this border and numbering uh, bullets and numbering sorry I'll select this and I will go in insert tab drop cap option dropped if you don't want anything click on none if you want it just click on drop so C will come with the big letters right I'll do control Z so it will be removed so this way you can do okay then you've got here um, the concept of uh, giving the tab stops okay by default there is it's always 0.5 here okay so if you want to in setup then you can set up and whenever you press a tab key that much equal distance it will be leaving okay so that is called tab stop and by default it's always 0.5 okay so this was your chapter 6 fine uh, your prep is uh, um, you have to write all the know the facts and let's know more and quick view right all this of your page number 47 49 okay i have already discussed with you in this video uh, you can write in your new page uh, chapter giving the heading chapter 6 formatting a document and there you can write uh, this uh, know the facts and everything know the facts and let's know more i'm going to put the prep in the erp even um, hope uh, you see the video uh, properly and if you have any doubt you can clear it up in the interactive class so this was your chapter number six please read now today page number 4950 also so if you create if you have any doubt you can ask me okay you can ask the madams so thank you for the today right um i okay and have a nice day please remember all the options that have been shown to you thank you and have a nice day children take care